Bolt Action Battle Report V1 Flying Bomb Assault As dawn broke across a small deserted hamlet in the northern region of Calais, a V1 flying bomb was being prepared for launch against London. Adjusting to the sunlight, German Fallschirmjäger units guarding the V1 were taken by surprise as brave British paratroopers parachuted into the field next to the launch ramp. The surrounding German troops opened fire on the British, but in the confusion, US airborne troops moved out from the hamlet, supported by an M4 Sherman tank. On the right flank, the Sherman pressed forward his advantage with its gyro-stabilized heavy anti-tank gun, scattering German units with deadly accuracy the first volley taking out a medium machine gun team. Progress for the US troops on the left flank were hampered by a German motorcycle and sidecar reconnaissance unit until their own support vehicles in the form of an M18 Hellcat and an M8 Greyhound armoured car broke the German lines. The M4 Sherman tank relentlessly pushed forward even after coming under continuous fire from the German heavy howitzer. It looked as though the German positions would be overrun until a second platoon eventually moved up to strengthen the line with two SDK 251 half tracks transporting veteran German Fallschirmjäger units taking the left flank along the main road and a Stug 3 assault gun taking up position in front of the advancing Sherman tank. As the fighting intensified, the M8 Greyhound came under heavy fire and took cover while the M18 Hellcat made a break through the German lines across the Bocage. After a storm of small arms fire, a well-placed Panzerschreck shot finished off the Hellcat. Achtung! Seeing that the V1 was close to launching, the Sherman tank took a well-aimed shot at the German assault gun and immobilised it, before moving on to the objective. Disabled, the Stug became easy prey to a US bazooka team. But time was running out for the Allied forces. Taking fire at point blank range from the German heavy howitzer, the Sherman crew panicked and fired widely at friendly units. An M3 half track made one last dash to the launching V1, but as the remaining German units on the left flank rallied forward to protect the launch site, it was too late. As the pulse jet ignited, the steam-powered trolley hurtled up the launch ramp 
at which point forces on both sides seemed to stop in mid-battle to watch this spectacle. The Allied forces had failed to capture a V-1 flying bomb and London was about to pay the price. The M4 Sherman tank took aim on the launch ramp. Although the objective was lost, this facility would not be used to threaten England again as Kilroy was here.